Hey, what's good everyone? In today's session, it felt like I couldn't win a single hand, but thank goodness for double board bomb pots. All right, let's get it. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Today, I go play the one to no limit game at the final table. I buy in for the max $400. I get my chips and head to the table. Starting off the session, there's a $5 straddle under the gun. When action's on me, I look down at pocket jacks and raise it to $20. The straddler then three bets it to $65. Only I make the call and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is a pretty good one, 967 with two diamonds. He then leads out for $45. I think about raising here, but I decided to just go with a flat call and see a turn card. The turn is a pretty bad one, the king of clubs. In case he was bluffing with ace king on the flop, he now just got there. He then leads out again, but this time for $110. I pretty quickly make the fold. I mean, he could be double barreling with some flush draws, but I'm just gonna find a better spot. Moving on. I'm a little bit on tilt, not gonna lie. I hate starting off sessions being down so quickly. There's a $5 straddle on the button, and I pick up seven deuce offsuit. One player limbs in for $5, and I raise it to $25, and everyone quickly folds. This next hand, I straddle for $5 on the button and look down at King Jack offsuit. Two players limp in for $5 and I raise it to $20. Both players make the call and we go three ways to a flop. The flop is Queen 3 3. Action checks to me and I bet out $20 and they both quickly fold. Alright, I'll take it and we get another easy small pot. So I start chipping down quite a bit from calling a handful of three bets pre flop and then just breaking and folding before I pick up ace 10 of spades on the button. There's a $5 straddle under the gun and only one player calls the $5 and when action's on me, I raise it to $25. Three players call and we go four ways to a flop. The flop is a complete brick. Eight, four, five with two clubs and I have no clubs in my hand. They all check it to me and well, I feel like I really only have one play here if I want to take down the pot. So I take the more aggressive route and rip it all in. Please don't call, please don't call. And they all fold pretty quickly. Oh, thank goodness. All right, I take down a decent pot and time to battle back. Let's go. All right, double board bomb pot time. The top board comes out queen six king all clubs and the bottom board comes out 4 king 5 with 2 clubs. I flop top set on both boards. I was sick, except I don't have any clubs in my hand, and I'm gonna need both boards to pair up for a full house. I'm pretty sure one of my opponents flopped a flush for sure. So I check, and then see 3 bets out $35. I'm putting him on a flopped ace high flush. So I just make the call along with 2 other players, and we go 4 ways to a turn card. The turn on the top board is a deuce of diamonds, and the bottom board is a three of spades. Doesn't change much for me, as I still have top set on both boards. I check, and it checks to seat three again, and he bets out $130. I only have $157 left, so here goes nothing. I go all in, and just gonna need some luck on the river to pair the board. I'm really just hoping to pair the board on one of them to take down half the pot. 8, 2, and 3 makes the call, which is actually a great thing. See you guys on the river. And the river on the top board is a brick. A jack of hearts. <sighs> Time to go home. Night night. And the river on the bottom board pairs the board, baby, with the four of spades. Hey, let's go. I now have a full house with kings full. So I end up taking half the pot and C3 takes the other half the pot with the ace high flush. All right, I will take it and not going home just yet. Moving on, under the gun raises it to $15 and I look down at pocket nines and make the call. 
two other players make the call, and we go four ways to a flop. The flop is not too bad, as it comes out 6 jack 6 with 2 hearts. I check, and it surprisingly checks all the way around. The turn is a brick, a 3 of diamonds. I think my 9s are good here, so when it checks to me, I bet out $26, and only one player makes the call, and we go heads up to a river. The river pairs the board with a 3 of hearts. He checks it over to me, and I just check it back. My 9s have a good enough showdown value here, as I'm only getting raised by better. And what do you know? My opponent shows pocket jacks for a flopped full house. Oh, he tried to be sneaky and tried to trap me. Okay, okay, I see you. There's a line in Game of Thrones that quotes this. There's only one thing we say to death. Not today. Nice hand, sir. Last hand of the night. We play a double board bomb pot. The flop on the top board is 894 all diamonds. And I flop a baby flush along with two pair. And the bottom board is 10 ace jack with two spades. On that board, I flop a straight flush draw. What a great flop on both boards for me. Action checks me, and I bet out small, $10. Three players make the call, and we go four ways to a turn card. The turn on the top board pairs the board with a 9, now giving me a full house. And the bottom board is a 4 of spades, now giving me a small flush. This time, the middle position leads out for $30. One player makes the call, and when action's on me, I raise it to $100. The player to my left makes the call, then the middle position makes the call, and then the player to my right, snap goes all in. I definitely know my flush is no good, but I do have two outs for a straight flush, and I have the nuts on top. So I'm just hoping no overcards rivers the top board for a potential bigger full house. I'm only really trying to take down half the pot here, so I go all in as well. The player to my left makes the call, and the middle position folds. So we go three ways all in to the river. And the river on the top board is a scare card. The king of diamonds. Now I'm losing to king nine or pocket kings. And the bottom board doesn't change anything as it rivers a seven of hearts. We all show our cards and I end up taking half the pot with nine eight for a full house. And the other player to my left takes down the bottom board with his ace high flush. The player to my right that jammed all in had flopped a set of jacks on the bottom board and had trip nines on the top board. That's pretty sick. But just like that, I rack up my chips and call it a night. Got done with the session, a little bit of roller coaster. I went down to my last $100, and then those two double board bomb pots, they saved me tonight. You know, I chopped two pretty good sized double board bomb pots. So I was in for the game for 400 and out for 608. So came up 208. But hey, thanks for sticking this long, and I'll see you on the river.